Hey everybody, my name is Akash MC, and today I'm talking to you about biotechnology. Before we even, biotechnology consulting actually. Before we even get into it, how am I qualified to speak about this? Well, I'm glad you asked. I currently am a senior research analyst at uh, Channel Health Bioconsulting. I've been serving in this capacity for about two and a half, coming up on close to three years now. And I have a bachelor's of science from the George Washington University in Washington, DC in biology and economics. Additionally, I've done some coursework in uh, the master's of biotech program at Georgetown, I've worked at an investment bank that we focused particularly on biotechnology by the name of Griffin Securities. I've worked on a healthcare market research team. I've worked at the tech transfer office at GW as well. And I have worked on a small cancer startup myself. So I have quite a bit of experience in this field, uh, by no means an expert, but I want to offer you some of my journeys and uh, insights along my journey itself for anyone who's interested in biotech. It's a field that I've fallen in love with and I continue to fall in love with more and more every day. But before we continue forward, let's define what does biotechnology mean and then what does consulting mean separately. So two separate ideas. So biotechnology, it sounds like a really esoteric out there type term. It's really, really simple. It's applying life as a solution for technology. So the whole idea is that you're using biological systems as a technology. So you're like, okay, well, that's still kind of out there. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this means. A couple, we'll go through a couple different ideas of what does this actually mean. So the oldest biotechnology that's um, been used to date is, drum roll please, I want to give you a little guessing game, guessing game type experience. And, I'll let you guess. Two, one. If you said alcohol or beer, spot on. First biotechnologies were alcohol and beer, actually. Um, one could ar actually argue farming, but I would go so far as to say alcohol. The reason being is that they used bacteria to um, to ferment, and by the fermentation of this uh, of the bacteria, the sugars within the within the, 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 the precursor to beer. Um, it created this alcoholic uh, mixture and thus alcohol comes together. And so earliest application of it and, and such, and it's only grown from there. So there's a couple different ideas and, and, and breakouts of, of biotech. We have healthcare applications, which I'm most familiar with myself. There's industrial applications. This could be anything from treating wastewater to understanding um, producing like beverages and such like beer, etc. cetera. Uh, there's also marine or aquatic. So this could be anything from like fish farming to, um, to understanding how to, how to use um, these types of systems for um, landscaping and, and, and farming in some senses. Um, you've got agricultural, huge, huge piece of this as well. Um, this could be anything from genetically modified crops to understanding how to improve crop yields uh, anything around that nature. And then lastly, uh, we have a field also um, by the, uh, biodefense. So understanding how do you use biological systems for defensive purposes. This could be anything from, I don't know, we've, we've seen like anthrax scares in, in the past over, over the years. But also understanding in the events that there is a huge widespread um, virus or some such thing like Ebola, that's, or anthrax that's put out into the, into the world, what do we do? Um, so at a high level, those are kind of the, the different types of um, areas of biotechnology. As I mentioned earlier, I specialize, or I've done most of my work in the healthcare space, and it's an area that I've really been passionate about and continue to be um, excited to grow and, and learn more about. So that's biotechnology, let's get into consulting. What does consulting mean? So consulting, uh, the easiest way I like to think about it is you get paid for, for saying the smart stuff that you know. In other words, you find someone who is looking for the type of information that you have or the type of information that you possess, and you explain it to them um, in a way that makes sense to them and you, you teach them in many ways. So you kind of you supercharge their learning. And so consultants have been traditionally used in um, the field of management consulting came about in the, I believe it was in uh, the 1900s, more so in the, the later the later half of the 1900s where um, 
big companies, we're trying to figure out should, what does it make sense for us to do in terms of strategy. Um, should we um, should we go and, and pursue this type of strategy? And when we say strategy, I mean a type of action of decisions or a a set of decisions that leads to a spe specified outcome. Or should we uh, pursue a different type of strategy? And there's implications and consequences to, to each of these types of ideas. But again, at the whole, a consultant, really the role of them is to help guide uh, their clients, which is typically um, someone on a management team. It's a management team, it's really like the, the chief executive officer, the chief operating officer, whatever. People who make decisions within a company um, to make a decision and at a critical point in their time. So biotechnology consultants, and we're about six minutes in now, you're like, biotechnology consultant, I'm on the edge of my seat, I've been waiting for this moment. Well, I'm glad you have been waiting this patiently. The whole idea there is that we help to advise biotech companies, and I mentioned, I mentioned healthcare, so this is primarily drug companies, so these are the pharmaceutical, like the small pill makers, to um, biologics, which are kind of injectables, to increasingly gene therapies, cell therapies, and, and, and tissue uh, regenerative medicine approaches, so kind of all surgical types of, of procedures. But we help these types of companies to continue to figure out, after they've raised a bunch of money, how do they, what do they do with this? How do they spend this money most efficiently and most effectively for your investors? Um, it's really, really cool because we're working on helping these types of companies uh, to develop a new therapy in areas where oftentimes there's no treatment. So, very interesting work in, in my particular, in my mind and such, and more than happy to introduce or answer any questions that you guys may have in, in this regard. So, I will continue to put out a couple videos over the next few days, weeks, months, set, years, etc really kind of diving into a particular topic on biotechnology, whether it be how did I get to where I am today, um, really what is what are all of the different facets to um, healthcare biotechnology, what are the different facets to industrial, agricultural, and um, biodefense, you name it. And more than happy to provide you guys with any more value in this regard. If you have any questions on, on anything, feel free to either leave a comment below or reach out to me. I'm more than happy to uh, talk more about it. This is one of my passions and I love being able to share with you guys. I will see you guys and enjoy the rest of your day, evening, year, life. Nah, we'll see each other before then.